It's true, the screams don't get quieter. You just get used to them. I remember when I had the world at my feet. So much promise, a voice of an angel. But I stepped out of line and ended up hung from the rafters and tossed out like yesterday's jam. Furbies, you either love them or you love them to the point of modification and torture. I'm in the latter camp. And I've done a few different projects with Furbies in the past. But there was always a project that I wanted to do with a Furby that I never got around to. And then this week I, I got around to it. And the project in question is behind this rather oily rag. Well, I best not be hasty and introduce you to subject 44B. That's right, this Furby has taken residence inside my modular synthesizer. How cool is that? Subject 44B is quite literally wired into the mainframe so you can play it using the modular synthesizer's voltages. So I started this project with a Furby and a blank piece of aluminum sheet. I then proceeded to cut a square hole using a hacksaw and clean it up with a file. After that, I 3D printed this massive back housing on the Lowsbot Mini. And then I began the enhancement process on the Furby. This involved disassembling it and wiring wires into it so I could wire it straight into the mainframe, in this instance, the synthesizer. There's also a piece of protoboard with a little bit of circuitry on there. I've made another video and I've made it public. The links are below if you want to see how this is wired in and all of the electronics and stuff like that. But I figured we should just jump straight into this one and wake up subject 44B. Right, let's turn it on. <laughs> So the subject 44B module is pretty simple. It's got a Furby inside it and the Furby is controlled by these switches over here. There's a glitch switch, a loop switch. There's one that rubs its belly, there's one that feeds it and then another one that turns it, well, makes it think it's going upside down. And then there's an audio out. All of these switches also have control voltage inputs. So that's it from the Turbo Furbro for today. The link to the aforementioned video talking about the wiring is available below. I also filmed all of the testing of the Furby and stuff as a live stream at the same time and that was over on Patreon which you can also watch back and also watch all future ones and stuff like that. And if you want to see extra content for a price of a couple of tins of beans then go and check it out over there as it really helps to keep these build videos nice and frequent. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm Luke Mundo Computer. This is Subject 44B. Don't be scared to try it. Maybe don't try this.